Okay, let's give our last comedian a round of applause. That's what's up, that's what's up. Next to the stage is... Wait, what? Couldn't make it. Video chat, really? All right, so let's put it up around the... Put it up all around the bar. All right, let's give a big ashram applause. Milo Chef. Hey, thank you, thank you. Thank you, I appreciate everybody. I know you're wondering, what the fuck is going on? Why is you doing a comedy sketch on Skype? I appreciate everybody, you know, they rolled out the TV for this or put it on the monitor. You're sitting around watching it at the bar. I'm sorry I couldn't be there. I wish I could be there. Yeah, I know, right? So I was supposed to get a, a break job. That sounds great. I was supposed to get my breaks done at Sears. 10 o'clock in the morning, I get there. I'm supposed to be in and out. Drive down to you guys, make everybody laugh. Yeah, laugh. Ha, 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 have a good night, motherfucker. And then be out. As you can see, I'm not there. A two hour, three hour break job turned into $1,100 in eight hours. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I couldn't make it. But in my thoughts of sitting there, I had my routine already. What can we do? as a society to talk about how to make the world better, you know? Cause I'm getting frustrated, I'm mad, I'm upset. And I'm like, how can I put some good energies into the world and not be upset about this debacle that's going on with Sears and their craptivity? So I said, okay, how can I do this? I'll, I'll start thinking. So I came up with a question. My question was, why did the chicken cross the road? Because it didn't want to lay eggs near Sears. Boom. Knock, knock. Who's there? Incompetence. Incompetence who? Oh, my bad. You might know me as Sears. Boom. A priest, a rabbi, and a minister all walk into a bar because they needed a drink after dealing with Sears. Boom. How many Sears automotive employees does it take to screw in the light bulb? I don't know, motherfucker. I'm master. Boom. Do you know? When you type shitbird into your phone, it autocorrects it in the Sears. Boom. I know, right? I know. It's a little bit outrageous. I'm getting outrageous, right? So I was sitting there talking to one of the disgruntled folks that I had the pleasure of talking to while I was sitting there. We start talking for a while. We're talking about religion. And he was like, he's Jewish. And I was like, I'm alive. And he, we had a little chuckle. Ha ha. He says to me, what do you think the difference between heaven and hell is? And I said, I don't know. Hmm, maybe Sears. So last night I'm on the YouTube and I'm just like digging in deep, you know, going into the conspiracy theories and everything's all crazy. And I get to this Mandela Effect video and it was like, oh my goodness, in this dimension, the word return and Sears mean the same thing. Boom. <laughs> So now, when you go to these establishments, you know that little sign that be on the door? It'd be like, no shirt, no shoes, no Sears, no service. Boom. It's getting so bad now that people are just swapping out verbs. So don't be surprised if the next time you get into a, to a skerfuffle with a motherfucker, Sears you. That motherfucker be like, go Sears your mom, you Sears ass bastard. Boom. Your mama so ugly. Wait for it. Sears. Boom. Anytime you go anywhere, he try to squeeze out that little ass fart that don't make no noise, but yet instead it soils your drawers. That's a Sears mark. Boom. Boom. When you're laying down and you're smoking a cigarette and that little ash just gets away, you try to grab it, but instead it hits and it burns. That's a Sears hole. Boom. That smell that leaks into your car when you pass the landfill. Sears. Boom. So another disgruntled customer that was there overheard me and this other customer talking about spiritual stuff and you know she and I start talking and we start getting into the spiritual stuff and I remember I'm fading in and out you know what I mean trying to keep my attention span she said something that like caught my attention again and there was something like 144,000 have you heard of the 140,000 or something like that and I was like wow that's weird you know that you would say that right now because as I'm googling see there's bad reviews and I just left my bad review that number 144,000 hit the total of bad reviews for Sears <laughs> Good night, everybody. See you as you. Boom! 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 Boom!